It's a busy holiday weekend for State Trooper Matthew Battaglia. I'm gonna get that vehicle right here. In this case, a driver allegedly fails to move over a lane while Trooper Battaglia has his lights on and is issuing a ticket to another driver. The alleged violation is just part of a wider traffic enforcement effort that state police are running through the weekend. So really the message is drive sober, slow down, put the phone down and uh, get home safely. Troopers say they'll be out in force looking for unsafe motorists, drunk or drugged drivers, and will also be running sobriety checkpoints. Peter Jones, who lost his son to a drunk driver, is happy troopers are stepping up enforcement over the holiday. It was a big weekend, a lot of partying going on. Um, and what happens is people forget. You go out there, you party, you drink, and then at the end of the night, you start coming back and you're coming home. Last July 4th weekend on Long Island, state police issued 1,127 tickets. Of those, 25 were for driving while impaired, 59 for cell phone use, and 280 for speeding. We see them driving all over the road, failure to stay in their lane, moving lane, moving from the lane unsafely. It's real dangerous. We've seen a lot of accidents on the parkway. Police and drunk driving opponents say with e-hail taxis and other transit options all at the push of a button, there really is no reason to choose to drive impaired. It's a holiday. You enjoy it, but to an extent where you're not going to kill somebody at the end of the night. And police add that's good advice unless they say you want to hear something like this. How you doing, sir? True Tag with New York State Police. You see a license registration, please. Andrew Anger, News 12, Long Island.